Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet here, uh, back with another video about Chrome Developer Tools. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at one of my favorite features, and I think it's kind of an underrated feature, which is Chrome's workspaces. And essentially what you're going to be able to do uh, is you can use uh, your Chrome Developer Tools, and any changes that you make, you can have them actually persist to disk, which is awesome for a few reasons. Uh, one. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this where you're making all these great style changes in the elements panel somewhere, uh, and then you get them all changed and it's looking really good, and then you like have a really hard time remembering how to get them all back into your style sheet, like which, which elements you changed, what changes you made. So you're kind of playing this game where you're like looking through and you're like copying and pasting a bunch of stuff, and it's a real pain. Uh, but the also... Like the other thing that I think is really interesting is this is like one step way closer to being able to use DevTools as your permanent development environment, as your IDE. Um, and so I think that is really interesting too, and something that I've been experimenting with a lot, and I hope to do a video about pretty soon. Um, so the basic idea here, let's pop over, I made this really, really, really basic sample app. So it's got um, an index.html, a scripts folder, and a CSS folder. And inside the CSS folder, we just have a style sheet. And inside the scripts folder, we just have a little script. Um, and so if we open up this index.html file, it's really, really, really basic. It's just uh, this little, you know, it's got a title. It links to the style sheet. It doesn't even link to the script yet. Uh, it's just got this anchor tag in here that says, don't click me. Uh, so if we go ahead and we open up this file in Chrome, we can see our anchor tag. And we can see it's big and blue. Uh, and then if we go ahead and we look in you know, CSS, style.css, we'll see here just some really, really basic stuff. I made anchor tags blue and huge, and then on hover, they turn red. Uh, so if I hop back over here and I hover over it, it's red. So that's really cool. Uh, and so in order to get this going, we're going to open up Chrome Development Tools. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open up my Finder. And I'm going to move into, let me get this going, videos, uh, workspace. So I'm going to find this uh, folder here. And then I'm actually just going to drag this folder into the development tools. And I think I'm actually wrong. i got to be on sources panel for that. So I'm going to take this workspace folder, I'm going to drag it into the sources panel. And you can see that it says drop workspace folder here. So I'm going to drop that and let it go. And it's going to pop up like the first time you do it, uh, requesting full access to that file because it needs read and write permissions. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and allow it. And now we're going to see something a little bit different, right? We see the local file here uh, with its CSS and index.html. And this is what's being served to the client. Uh, and then we also have this workspace folder where we have um, my scripts and CSS. <clears throat> so one way you can tell this is different is that uh, this is reading from the file system, so it can find my scripts.js, and this is only reading from what it got served uh, as far as markup goes, so there is no scripts.js. Um, so we're almost there. Uh, the only problem right now is we kind of have two copies of everything, which is pretty messy. So what you do is you go, you find the one that's being served from the actual server, and you right-click on it here in the sources, and then you map to file system resource here. So I'm going to click that, and it's going to say, well, what file do you want to map to? And I'm going to pick the index.html that's in my workspace. Go ahead and pick that. Um, and then it says you got to restart element inspector, so I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now when it restarts, you see no longer that original one coming down. We're really just playing now with the CSS, with the index.html uh, from my file system, which is pretty neat. So let me show you a few examples. Um, if we pop back over here to my editor, and we open index.html, we'll see this anchor tag on line 11, and it says, don't click me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close that, and I'm going to go back into Chrome, and I'm going to double click, open up this index.html, and we see, you know, the exact same thing, right? So I'm going to go ahead and change it over here from don't click me to click me, and then I'm just going to, you can see, just like a regular text editor, you can see this little asterisk shows up showing that the file has been modified. So I'm going to command S, just like normal for save, or control S if you're on Windows. Um, and I'm going to refresh, and we see it says click me, but the really cool thing is if we head back onto my file system and open it again, uh, we'll see now down at line 11 that it persisted to disk. So that's kind of what we're working with here. There's really no need uh, when you're working with, you know, JavaScript, CSS, HTML. There's really no need for you to open up this text editor 
uh, like Vim or Sublime or something like that, you really can get all the work done right here in the browser. Uh, in later videos, I really want to show that you can do way cooler stuff, like you can do mustache, you can do sass, you can do a lot of those things, all still right here in the browser. Um, but for now, I just kind of wanted to go back to that example that we had of changing all these styles and making something look really cool. Um, and you know how this alleviates that problem. So I'm going to inspect this link here and I'm just going to make some changes. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm a good enough designer to make it look really cool, but let's give it like a, maybe a gray color, uh, font size down to 20 pixels, uh, text decoration, none, uh, font family, and we'll just do whatever default sans serif, or maybe like, hell, I don't have a on here. All right. Sans serif, um, text uh, transform, we can uppercase it, um, like some, I don't know, you could add all sorts of stuff, right? You could add like box shadow and you can, you know, kind of do it all the way you like. And then instead of having to remember, you know, everything that needs to go back there, uh, if we just, even without doing anything, uh, go back and open the style sheet, we'll see that all those changes per, per, uh, persisted to disk, which is pretty awesome. So really you can close out of, you know, your terminal or, you know, Sublime or whatever you're using. You can just start designing stuff right here um, in the element inspector. You see it, you know, immediately, you get kind of the view that you're used to. And then when you're happy with it, just know that it's, you know, all set, all saved to disk for you uh, and you're good to go. Uh, so yeah, I hope that was useful. I really do want to do an advanced workspaces one because they've got some really, really great stuff where they can source map uh, things like CSS preprocessors, like I mentioned. So, uh, But for now, I hope that's enough to get started, uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, using Chrome as your uh, IDE. Thanks.